Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. In today's video, I am going to be going over everything that I keep and take to the gym with me in my industrial sized gym bag. I know this looks unnecessary, but it is very necessary for my purposes. Everything that I go over today will be linked down below. I, I go through it, I organize, and I'm like, do I need all this? And then the answer is always yes and more. Personally, I really like the backpack. You know, I've been partial to the strapped duffel bags for the longest time, but now the whole backpack has really grown on me and I just feel like it's better for my back. So, overall a winner, but let's go ahead and jump into this. So starting off with my gym bag itself, this is the best gym bag I've ever had. Like I, I can't go back, I can't go back. We're only going forward in different colors, but the red, right, the red. So this is from the brand Built for Athletes and they make two different sized backpack gym bags. So this is the larger size and you can see it's like, it's really big. I'll sh insert a clip here of what it looks like on and it is kind of like, obnoxiously large. It's like almost an awkward size, but the reason that I got the large is because it fits my tripod perfectly. And my friend from my old gym, she had the smaller bag and I wanted to get the smaller bag, but my tripod didn't fit in it nicely with like my camera and my shoes and all that stuff. So for my purposes, the large bag worked better, but if you are just like your everyday gym goer, you could definitely get the small and that would work just fine. Like if I didn't have to bring my tripod around, I would have stuck with the small. What I really like about this bag is first of all, you have these really comfy back straps. You have so many different pockets. Like it makes organization really, really good in this bag. And there's literally a spot for everything. So you can connect your barbell pad on the bottom. Personally, I like strapping my belt to the side. I just, I like this aesthetic, you know, it's cool. We got two water bottle holders. So I put my pre-workout and my pump stack in my ghost shaker and I put it in on this side. And then on the other side, this pocket is big enough to hold. This is my Nalgene water bottle, but I also put my Hydro Flask in here. And I really like that you know, we have a spot for that because I don't want my things leaking all over everything and I can sit my backpack up so nothing's gonna spill out, you know? Another key winner about this backpack is on the front, there's this little spot here and it's Velcro. You can buy these patches to put on it that they sell on their website and I just thought that was really cool. So I bought this one that says, hard work pays off because hard work, it pays off. Even the patches that come with the bag, you can take those off and put them in different areas. So I really like that. So you can customize every bag like to yourself, you know? I don't know. So depending on what lifting day it is, the things in my bag will fluctuate. So if it's leg day, but specifically if it's a glute focused leg day, I'm gonna have my barbell pad on the bottom so I can do hip thrusts. I always have my belt because I squat on every single leg day and I always squat with my belt. It helps protect my back. Again, I've said it a million and 10 times, but I hurt my back a couple years ago and I'm not trying to hurt it again. So if I gotta support my core, keep my back, nice and healthy with a belt, I'm gonna do it. And honestly, it really helps. I don't know what I would do without my belt. We're gonna go pocket by pocket on this. In this first pocket up here, I have an extra tripod just in case I want a different angle. Also good for vlogging. And if you guys are just vlogging in general or recording your workouts, this is my new favorite tripod. So I used to use the Joby tripod that bent in a bunch of different directions, but this one is my new favorite. It's super sturdy. It holds up my mirrorless Sony camera. So like my big camera. And then I have the little iPhone adapter so you can put your iPhone in here and then you can screw it on here. Just influencer things. All right, next up, chapstick, okay? Can't live without my chapstick. If my lips get chapped in the gym, I'm not gonna have a good leg day. I don't know the science behind that, but just take my word for it. Liquid grip. So this is basically liquid chalk. It's less messy than the powdered chalk, you know, the one that's just the brick and you rub it, rub it on your hands. That's why I like this because you just squeeze it on your hands, rub your hands together. I just do this or I blow on my hands and I wait for it to dry and then it dries on my hands and it just stays there. So this is a really big winner for me. I'm not sure the best brand right now, but I got mine from Rogue because I just ordered it when I ordered my knee sleeves. So, but I think any brand of this will work, but I'll link this one down below specifically. One thing is though, it has like a weird smell when you like take it out. I don't know what that smell is. What is this? I don't know. It smells like kind of like glue or something, but like not good glue, like not no, don't smell glue. That's no. <laughs> don't shake it. That's basically all we have in this little pocket. But like I said, it has these little compartments that you can put anything in. Oh, and also on the front, if you have any carabiners, you can clip them on right here too. I promise you we're gonna get to the good stuff, but I have to go through just the random things that I have in here first. My keys. 
And I also keep spray hand sanitizer. You just spray it right on your hands. It smells like eucalyptus. I got this from Bath and Body Works and it's eucalyptus tea and I think it smells really good and I spray it on my hands. Before the gym, after the gym, in between sets, I just, after I touch anything, you know, I'm just, I'll spray people with it. Just kidding, I don't do that. And then I have my two sets of headphones in here. So my AirPods, they're my backup headphones. And then I have my, what are these? Beats Pro something. I, I don't know the names of any of these. These are the ones that wrap around your ears. I love these because my music goes so loud in these. Whenever I wear my AirPods and I listen to Spotify, my music just doesn't go as loud as I need it to, to go. I don't know what it is, but if I use these headphones and I listen to Spotify, the music, it's loud. It's blaring in my ears. I can hardly hear anything. I can't hear my own thoughts. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. We got that one settled. All right, moving on to our next pocket. This next pocket, on a leg day, we have my Converse. One thing you need to know about me, on leg days, I wear my Birkenstocks to the gym with my high socks because when we get to the gym, I like to drink my pre-workout, I like to find my squat rack, I get all settled, but I don't wanna have my Converse on because that means my Converse are laced up nicely and then I have to unlace them to put my knee sleeves on. And you know, that's a headache I don't even need in my life, okay? I don't need it. So I found a way to avoid that. So I pack my Converse in my bag, I head to the gym when I get all settled, when I get my knee sleeves on, then I pop off my Burks, slide them in this little shoe pouch, and we're good to go. Another thing in here, I have, these are sports bra pads. If I just notice a lot of like, you know, there's a lot of nippage going on. I don't like to do that in the gym. I don't like to be like showing everyone everything in the gym. So I have some extra padding in here just in case I'm wearing a sports bra that's like extra like showing everything and I didn't notice on the way to the gym or something. So in case I need to slip those in. And now for the big pocket. I really like this part about this bag is the big pocket in the back unzips completely and you can just lay it out flat like this. This is the pocket that I say that I use the most. On this side is where I keep my tripod and then I keep my camera in here as well. Sometimes I'll put my belt in here too and then also I wear a sweatshirt to the gym sometimes so I'll throw it in this pocket as well. In here I keep my knee sleeves. Now these knee sleeves are seriously such a lifesaver. They help keep my knees just stabilized. They really help with my squats. <laughs> Riley, she always chooses to use the litter box when I'm filming. If you take away two things from this video, it's that I think you should invest in a good lifting belt and I think you should invest in knee sleeves, especially if you're trying to lift heavier because you want your core to be stabilized, you want your back to be kept safe and you want your knees to be stabilized and these help a lot. I would recommend getting the seven millimeter knee sleeves. There's five millimeter knee sleeves. I know I talked about this in my last video too, but the seven millimeter are a little bit thicker and they just support your legs a little bit more. I got these in a size small. Now they are, harder to get up when you don't have leggings on, so just keep that in mind. Don't think that you got the wrong size if they're really hard to get on. Like, you just, you just gotta pull them up. Next up, no leg day is complete without sour strips or some sort of candy. I just find that I like having some extra sugar to just consume in between some of my sets, especially if I'm feeling a little tired. They're just really quick carbs and a quick energy source just to just boost my energy back up, get me going in the gym, and they just, they taste delectable, okay? got pink lemonade here and we got cotton candy because I ate all my green apple. And this is where I keep my clips. Have you ever noticed that you can never find clips in the gym? Every gym I've gone to, I'm like, where are the clips? Where are they? I can't find them. So I bought these bright yellow ones off of Amazon and I've literally had these for years, like probably three or four years. That way I could always see them and I always know where they are. <laughs> I don't have to spend all this extra time looking for the clips everywhere around the gym, walking around looking like a lost puppy dog. Where are my clips? Oh, they're right here. Oh, they're here. Where are they? Where are my clips? I can't find, oh no, they're in here. They're right here. In this pocket as well, I have my wrist wraps. Now these wrist wraps are a lifesaver. If you got weaker wrists, if your wrists are a little wobbly, but you're trying to get your bench press up, you're trying to increase that weight, I would recommend some wrist straps. Now these just help again stabilize. Basically all the things, all the accessories that I have with me are helping with stabilization or helping keep you in correct form. Like I know that you should have correct form without these things as well, but it just helps especially, <laughs> sorry, Riley just jumped on her, jumped on her cat tower and it was scary. These things just help 
as you increase weight. You know, everything is about keeping you safe, keeping you comfortable, keeping you in the game to reach your goals. Although you should have all of your stabilizer muscles like developed and working on their own and stuff like that, these things are just gonna help with taking it to the next level. Wrist wraps are a must for me. All right, and on our glute focus days, I just got these in the mail last week and I'm super excited to use them. I have not used them yet because I literally just got them in the mail. These are from Upper. All of my stuff is basically from Upper. I love Upper. These are the ankle straps for kickbacks. They're really cushiony and this Velcro seems to be nice and strong. Like, look. These will be what I use next week on my glute day, but I just threw these in here because I know that I'm gonna use them. That is basically it. That's everything that's in my gym bag, but I know it seems like a lot and I guess it kind of is, but just over the years, as you go through lifting and as you start lifting heavier, as your goals change, things like that, you'll notice that you just start to bring different things and you'll have more things. Some weeks you'll have less things. It just, I don't know, it just depends on what your goals are and how much you want to bring to the gym. I know some people just literally walk into the gym with their keys and a water bottle and that's it. And like, that's perfectly fine. And then there's some of us that bring their entire life with them. But I think it just, again, it just depends on your goals. So my goals are lifting heavy. So, you know, I want to make sure I bring my belt. I want to make sure I have my knee sleeves. And then along comes with that is like, oh, well, I want my lifting shoes. I want my Converse, but I don't want to, you know, it's just like, it's personal preference. So don't feel like you need to have all of these things to have a successful fitness journey I just wanted to share with you the things that I've accumulated over the years it's a spectrum just trying to let you know don't feel like you need all of these things you need to go out and buy all of this to like be successful in the gym you definitely don't um, but yeah that is what I use and again like I said I will list everything down below so you guys can pick up anything you like if you liked anything you saw here that's gonna be it for this video if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and friends I will see you all in the next video